I think you'd suit something a bit more sporty myself. Oh, yeah. Tidy little motor, that excellent fuel economy, these things. Mm. Rita said I can borrow it any time, only I'm too scared to start the engine. Well, confidence comes with experience. Have you got your P-plates? Uh, yep. Good. People don't know to give you a wide berth. Mm -hmm. So are you going to take it for its uh, M MOT this after? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll... No, I can't this afternoon. i am um, knocking off early on. <coughs> got a date. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kirsty, is it? Yeah, Kirsty. Lovely name, isn't it? It's classy. Mm -hmm. So, what time are you going to meet her? Six. And you're knocking off early? Well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit rusty, aren't I, on the romantic front, you know what I mean? Got to have a bath, find my shirt and... sign myself up. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf, just thinking about it. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll get that in a bit. Yeah. Ow! You told me you were going to tell him. But I haven't had a chance. Oh, no, you only spend, what, 20 hours a day with each other? She won't turn up. He'll realise, then I'll comfort him. Why damage our friendship as well? Right. You tell today, or I will. Oh. I hope you don't think I'm up to table at six o'clock because of the early bird menu. Ty? I don't want her to think I'm stingy, you know what I mean? Although he's saying that it was her idea to meet up early, so... Well, this date might not even go that well, you know. Why'd you say that? Well, you and Kirsty might not hit it off. We got on like house on fire when we met. Although you're right, I need to keep my feet on the ground. She might not even turn up. Oh, great. Put a complete downer on it. Look, the, um... The thing is... <sighs> I paid her to talk to you. You what? I paid her. I just wanted to give you ego a boost, man. And it, and it worked as well, because you've been walking around like you were ten feet tall ever since. So she didn't really chat me up? It's just a setup arranged by a so-called mate? I'm sorry. Nice one. It was a stupid thing to do. Ty! I think I've had enough of people plotting behind my back. I... I just thought she'd chat to you, then go. I didn't know you'd set up a date. And you've watched me for days, looking forward to it, thinking that maybe at last my luck's about to change. But it hasn't... Yeah, but it will, Ty. You're giving off this aura... Aura? You're giving off this aura of somebody with nowhere to live. Ty, I... I mean it, Tommy. You know, mate of mine, not after this. I'm early, I know, I always am. I had a little mooch about, get a feel for the area. It's quite nice. It's OK. There's no need to keep up the act. Yep, where is he? I'm gonna kill him. Whoa, 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 you can't just walk in. Why did you tell him about the money? I didn't know if he was gonna show up. But... Didn't want him getting hurt. But I like him. I want to go out with him. Will you just leave, please? Not till I've given this clot a refund. <sighs> Look, it's true. I was a bit tizzly. I'm... I'm game for a laugh. But then when we chatted, I... I thought we made a real connection. So did I. <sighs> it's gone to pot now, obviously. Story of my life. But I'm not leaving this house until I know that you know that I liked you. Cross me heart. I liked you. Even if you are getting me for the early bird menu, I assumed we were going Dutch on the first date. Well, you were the one that wanted to meet up early. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Have a nice life. We've still got half an hour before the full price kicks in, if you still fancy it. Yeah, uh, caviar's on me. I'll tell you what. I'll go out, come back in, and we'll start again. Just when I get it home, I'll snip the stalk, crush the end, and put it in a vase with some plant food. Could last up to a week. Are you a florist or something? My brain's like a sponge. Anything I read or see on the telly just sticks. <laughs> I've got a lousy memory, me. You forget me as soon as I go home, then. No, no, I'll remember you. I'll, I'll remember tonight. Well, <laughs> um, do you want a coffee? A another. I'll be up all night. Well, I've got beer in that. I'm driving anyway. I've got to be up at five. What is it you do? Guess. Breakfast, DJ. <laughs> I'll tell you next time. If it's going to be a next time. Yeah, I'd love that. And me. 
But I'm worried the doubt's gonna creep in when I've gone. Seems we got off to a bad start. So just to make it absolutely clear. Call me. Yeah, well. How'd it go? Yeah, yeah, it was okay. Yeah? Yeah. I, I can't even keep this up anymore. It, it was fantastic. It was amazing. Amazing. She's gorgeous and funny and gorgeous and... So, does, does this mean I don't need to move out? Come on. Can't kick Cupid out, can I, eh? You brought us together. <laughs> Tell you what, stick us a piece of toast in, though. I just had a three-course meal. <laughs> I was far too busy gassing to eat. I'm <laughs> famished. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm in love. <laughs> After one day. You know what? Fancy a pint? Do you fancy a pint? Let's go and have a pint. Right. Just pass your test, I see. Yep. Did you bribe the examiner? No. Obviously never tested you on parking. Uh, excuse me, I'm quite good at parallel parking. I did it in my test. I'm supposed to do a vertical takeoff. Sorry. Lucky you got here. Just about to scroll a message in your paintwork with my key. Uh, all right, it was an accident. Next time, think. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Jeremy Clarkson? Now stand back before I ram you out the way. Go on. 